By far, and I've been so fortunate to do a lot of cookware. I've never seen anything like this, so tell us about it. Like you said, this is two of the best appliances that you could find right now, a pressure cooker and an air fryer built into one, but it does so much more than that. I really quickly wanna show you what that means, a pressure cooker and an air fryer. In front, you'll see a pressure cooked chicken. We love pressure cooked chickens because they're nice and tender. They are super special. They're really good for things like soups and stews, but what they aren't are they aren't things that you want to serve your family at, you know, at dinner time because it doesn't look beautiful. You don't want to put that on your counter, on your table. Here, we've wow. got a pressure cooked plus air crisp chicken and that's what we call a tender crisp chicken it's oh. going to be tender inside and crispy on the outside that's what you want to serve your family when you're having dinner absolutely and you know this is what you put in the soup this is what everybody drools over exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> all right so we have so much to get into first off i've got to explain i'm going to go over and tell you the colors yes. i'll be right back with okay. you in a second come with me you guys i am so excited about this and here's why we have the best price anywhere in the country i I don't care where you go on the internet. I don't care what shopping channel you're looking at. Nobody's beating our deal. And here's why. This is $20 less even than another network. And guess what? The other networks, uh, Ninja, did not have dehydration. This actually is dehydrator, and it has a whole bunch of other settings we're going to get into. I have never seen anything quite like this. It is beautiful. It's made and constructed so nicely. The technology is amazing. It's easy as all get out, which is crazy. And Kenzie's going to walk us through that in just a bit. So let's go over the colors and everything that you get with this collection. Right here, of course, is the black. It looks great. It works fabulously well, any color that you choose. In front of me, right, and this one is gonna be your white. The turquoise, I think the turquoise is absolutely gorgeous. And I gotta try me, I gotta try one, and I gotta try me to cook up a storm, and I got the cinnamon, and I think it's just stunning. Now, when you go in the front, what's really nice is you're gonna get recipes and instructions to get you started right off the bat. So here's the instructions. I love it too, because you're going to get what's the, happening in the magic on the inside, and you get all the different bases that you're seeing here. So those are also included, which is not only your crisping lid, your pressure lid, that's a six and a half quart removable uh, cooking pot. You get the four quart, this is the cook and crisp basket. You also are gonna get the insert that goes along with it that's reversible. You get the reversible rack that's included, all of this. And I gotta tell you what, usually if you got a cookbook, that would be in addition. And Kenzie indeed has created a beautiful cookbook, but you're getting a full book that's 45 of the best recipes included with this configuration. Now, how popular has this been? Well, Miss Kenzie, you're gonna have a short day today. <laughs> Here's why. We brought in about 9,000 for the entire day. If you look at your screen right now, that's how many have already been sold. 2,200. What does that mean? If you're watching tonight and you've seen the Ninja, you know, well, it's not really out there because I can't keep it in stock in the stores and you've always wanted, wanted one, now's the time to do it. Do it at midnight tonight. Do not wait at this point. The Aqua, just so you'll know, I have less than 400 left. Daggone it. The white, do I only have 600 of the white? Okay, that's nuts. That is amazing. And there's only 600 of this gorgeous white. And I know we've got a lot to get into. Hang with me, because Kenzie's going to walk us through the magic of this. So, Kenzie, we talked about the fact that it's an air crisper, obviously. Mm -hmm. We talked about it's a pressure cooker. Yes. I added that it dehydrates, which nobody else has had that up until this model. Exactly. And that's really good, because all of these things you buy separately. Mm -hmm. But it also does what? It's also going to replace your slow cooker. Yep. It's also going to replace your rice cooker. It's essentially going to act like a mini oven on your countertop. Right. And then it also is going to work like a stove top. So, oh, and a steamer. And a so steamer. we can just keep going and going and going. It's going to replace everything. And you're not gonna fry food anymore. <laughs> you're gonna so air eliminate fry. all that awful fryer. Okay, <laughs> and here we're seeing some of the magic. Exactly, here you're seeing the magic. You're seeing pressure cook with that pressure cooking lid. We swap the lid to the crisping lid, and this is where your air frying comes into play. So cool. It's going to crisp the outside of that chicken or whatever food you put in there, getting in all of the nooks and crannies. Then all of a sudden, you're gonna pop that open and you've got that crispy exterior and that juicy interior. So now I wanna walk you through how exactly this is going to break down and how you're going to use your unit. So if you follow me here to the control panel, you push your power button first and that's gonna turn the unit on. The top row is all of the functions that you're gonna use with your pressure cooking lid. I'll show you that in a minute. You have pressure, steam, slow cook, and sear saute. Sear saute is gonna work 
basically like your stove top. That goes from a low all the way up to a screaming hot sear on high, and it's gonna work just like the knob on your stove, so it'll say low, medium, high. Then on the bottom row, you've got air crisp, bake roast, broil, and dehydrate. Those are all of your air crisp lid functions. So whenever you have that lid down from the top, you're gonna use this row. Last, but definitely not least, is keep warm. And keep warm is what you're gonna see when you're done pressure cooking or you're done slow cooking. Keep warm is gonna turn on automatically and it will last for about 12 hours or however long you choose to use it until you turn it off. So I'm gonna take you through another tender crisp feature and that is making barbecue ribs. We were able to make two racks of barbecue ribs. Look at that, crispy on the outside and super tender and delicious just like you want on the inside. This is gonna resemble a rib that was slow cooked for hours. Like I said, it's going to be tender and pull apart. Hello, child. <laughs> but then you've got that crispy interior. And this is done. Because it really gets that caramelized. Exactly, it Which really gets caramelized. Which is the yummy of ribs. <laughs> and just like that chicken, we used pressure first and then we went ahead and used the, uh, the air crisp feature. Oh and I'm gonna show you exactly how that gets pulled apart. Oh my gosh, my mouth's so warm. <laughs> Every single piece is gonna be pull apart. So that skin is gonna pull right back, right from the oh bone. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So you've got the tender, then we have the caramelization on mm -hmm. top, which is really the yum in ribs. I mean, that's exactly. what everybody goes for. <laughs> but a lot of times to get the caramelization, when you traditionally do them, mm -hmm. you overcook the meat. Exactly. Like you just ruin the meat. With this, it's gonna keep all that tenderness, but it's gonna give you that finish that's so perfect. What I love, it's one or the other as well. Mm -hmm. Like you're showing a lot of really cool recipes that no other pressure cooker in the world could do this. Exactly. No other air fryer in the world could do. What I love though is you can use them separately. Yes. And if you go to my Facebook page, I did something really simple. I said, I'm just gonna do a chicken breast. Really basic, and we'll show my <laughs> Facebook page in a minute. But I gotta tell you, it came out so good and so delicious, and I did it on the air fry method. Okay. If I wanted to switch to pressure cooker, it's that easy. Also, oh thanks, there it is, there's my there, piece of chicken. It looks delicious. And you know what I call it? guilt free fried chicken. There you go, because you know when you're using that air crisp feature, you only need to use about a tablespoon of oil. So you don't Amazing. need to use your whole, you know, shallow fry or anything like that. Exactly, I mean, you have to get the stove dirty, you have to get a pan <laughs> out there and boil all the uh, oil. Now here's what I want to show you, because I got to try mine, they gave us a try me, I do have to hand it back. <laughs> But they gave me one to try. And I opened it up and I said, all right, how fast is this gonna be? Because I thought, oh my gosh, pressure, air fry, mm -hmm. it's gonna be really complicated. They are so brilliant. Right when you open the box, there's the easiest sheet to follow ever in the history of cooking, <laughs> right? And it says, okay, here's what you get. It says, here's your two lids. So you know you got two lids. And then it says, first time pressure cooking? Follow those little steps. Now watch what happened. I said, well, I'm gonna air fry. In the inside, now it takes you through every step of the air pressure mm -hmm. and every step of the air fry. So I went, well, I'm just gonna basically air fry. I literally followed along. I was ready to go and done less than five minutes. Literally from out of the box mm -hmm. to having my chicken done, it was in minutes. It did not take long at all. And I love it because they've taken something that works beautifully and super simplified it. So if you get out of the box, don't worry, you're gonna be up to speed on this very, very quickly. It is that brilliant. I loved how this was laid out. I'm, thank you yeah, I so did. much. I thought it was brilliant, really brilliant. I'd love to show you a one pot wonder. Okay. I'm sure you've seen these in the cookbook. And basically it's taking some of those simple functions like pressure cooking and it's making them just a little bit more elevated. So what I did here is I pressure cooked some uh, rigatoni pasta along with my sauce okay. and I did that from a hot box of dry pasta No need to boil your water or anything first We're doing that straight from dry and then we went ahead and added some tomato sauce and some aromatics Now what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of cheese or I'm gonna be honest It's a lot of bit of cheese, uh, <laughs> Come on, right, bring out the cheese. <laughs> right on top and we're gonna evenly distribute this all around pasta because when you make a pasta dish or a casserole at home the best part is that ooey gooey cheese on top right sure and of course uh, we're making a pepperoni pizza pasta bake so nothing would be complete without a little bit of pepperoni on top add that and then what we're gonna do is lower our crisping lid and I'm gonna take you right to the front of the unit again and we're gonna go ahead and choose our broil feature which is right there. And we're gonna go ahead and just do that for about five minutes. It's crazy. So you can broil in this. So you can even broil. 
It's gonna take, Brilliant. yes, it goes up to 450 degrees and it's gonna do it all right here. So you don't have to get your oven nice and hot. You can just do this right on your countertop, walk away and go help the kids with homework and come back to a fully cooked meal. So if you need that little broil to finish it off, it even does that. <laughs> I think, I guess can see too, and you'll know for yeah. sure, but that's why it's so wildly popular. Mm -hmm. So I was talking to some people earlier, they can't fill the store orders. There are <laughs> retailers yep. that they can't get this to because it is selling out everywhere so quickly. And I'm gonna tell you right now, because it's midnight, I love doing midnight. I hate ending the day because we never have anything. <laughs> at midnight, I got it all. Here's what's gonna happen. We have now sold, what are we at? 2,600? 2,600, wow. we're doing the very first presentation. Why do you wanna pick it up now? Because I have all the colors, but we have the best value anywhere. In fact, we have the lowest price anywhere and ours has more features than any other version that's been out there. So if you've been thinking about it, this is absolutely the one to get. I wouldn't shop anywhere else for it because everyone's going to be more expensive and it does less than this one does. We have a one day price. I got to point out flex real quick because yep. that's a great way to get that ninja home. Yep. It's pay it off in five months. You get it right away. But ordering tonight is really crucial because you want to get the color you want. And I can guarantee that always at midnight. I will not say that <laughs> later today for sure. All right. Yeah, it comes with 45 recipes, but also Kenzie has done an awesome, awesome cookbook. What's your favorite thing mm -hmm. about your cookbook? Oh, I have to say the crispy fish tacos. Yeah. I did that using the air crisp feature and it is delightful. It's perfect. I live in New England, but you can get that crispy fish taco like you can get here in Florida all year round. Isn't that nice? And again, the crisp without the guilt. Exactly. So you're getting the fried feel without the guilt of traditional fried food. And this is a great example of that. And this is a great example of that fried food. So using the same technique that I did in my cookbook for the crispy fish tacos, we used air crisp here to make two pounds, two pounds of oh crispy you french fries. <laughs> and truly crispy. Aren't you good? Mm, truly crispy. It. And you know, this oh, is going to make your whole meal, but it's also going to make snacks for throughout the week. It's going to make your sides. It's great at roasting vegetables using that bake feature and everything is gonna be super crispy outside. We crave texture. That's why a lot of meals you'll see have like different textures throughout that crispiness with that like ooey, mushy, uh potato middle that we all love, that's what we love to eat. Oh, so nice, so good. Okay, guys, I'm actually on Facebook Live. We're simulcasting, so if you wanna ask um, Kenzie a question, you sure can. Yeah. Uh, Marilyn says, wow, it looks delicious. Um, <laughs> just got here, can't wait to see more meals. This is the best price anywhere. Yes, Teresa, she got it. We have the <laughs> best deal anywhere, 100%, I can guarantee it. This is your place to buy this Ninja as well. And again, if you want to ask her a question, certainly do. Mm -hmm. Here's the miracle behind it. No one's ever done this before. It's so revolutionary. It's the best, the very best of air frying. And mm -hmm. I've sold a lot of air fryers. And I will tell you, the results on this one were completely completely substantially different than my other air fryers I've used. Yeah, I mean, this is really many steps above a traditional air fryer. Take what we love about pressure cooking and then go above that many steps. And that is the magic behind one. You don't need a million appliances anymore. You need the Ninja. And I think that's probably the reason people have be, it's become that buzz. Exactly. Because they realize I don't need 20 different appliances. I need just one mm -hmm. to do searing and to do steaming and to cook rice and to yep. cook pasta, makes casseroles. I can do my air frying. It just goes on and on and it's all in one really convenient unit. Yeah, even if it's as simple as making a piece of <laughs> non-guilt fried chicken. There it is, doesn't that look good? I like it, the name of it. It was delicious <laughs> too, so I gotta glad. tell you. It was, and I love the rack. And I you use the rack for it. So this is the rack that you were talking about before that comes with the unit. It can be used two different ways. So you can use it in the steam position or the lower position. And then you flip that upside down and that's what you're gonna use to broil or to do things like your chicken. Mm -hmm. And here I'm gonna build what I like to call a 360 meal. And that means that the 360 degrees of your plate are gonna have three different textures. <laughs> so if you're making rice and then chicken and then asparagus, that's gonna be three different textures. Here what I'm doing is actually a steak dinner. So I've got some potatoes, some raw potatoes in the pot. And I'm gonna go ahead and just add in my wrap right on top of those potatoes. We've got the water in there as well. Now, this is something you've probably never seen before. <laughs> when you come home from a long day, what's the first place you look for dinner? The freezer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then you're like, wait, I didn't defrost anything. How am I supposed like, to oh, cook shoot. it? <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is actually make a steak dinner from frozen steaks. This is whoop, rock hard <laughs> frozen steak. And we're gonna add really those two steaks right on top of that rack. Right there. 
Okay, so you have the potatoes down below. So we've got the potatoes down below with our water, and you're gonna need to use about a fourth, uh, half a cup of water or a uh, chicken stock or wine anytime you're pressure cooking and that's gonna allow it to build the steam that actually cooks the food. Okay. So then we're gonna add our pressure cooking lid. Now once we add the pressure cooking lid, the bottom row is going to illuminate. I'm sorry, so the top smart. row is going to illuminate. Depending on the lid, the different row will illuminate. So it you know knows exactly what lid, <laughs> exactly is, what on lid is on it. Okay, again, brilliant. <laughs> and here we're gonna choose pressure high and we're actually just going to go up for one minute or down to one minute and that's all it's going to take after it builds pressure to cook that steak and to cook those potatoes wait 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 say that again one minute after you build pressure to actually cook that steak and cook those potatoes that was rock hard frozen. That was rock hard frozen. So it reaches pressure. It knows when it reaches pressure. It knows when it reaches pressure. That little circulating, I call it a snake on the UI, will turn off and it will start to count down as soon as it reaches pressure. And for however many minutes you set, we set one. And then once the one minute is over, it'll ding and you're gonna come back and switch the lid. Get out of here. Yep. So then we're gonna use the air fryer just to get it brown and caramelize the steak. Exactly. Oh, so this. what I did in this unit is I actually swapped my lids or swapped my chops, if you will, okay. and I mashed my potatoes and added a little bit of cheese and cream because everything is better with cheese and cream and butter. <laughs> uh, and then I added some uh, veggies to the top. So here, what we have. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? So in just minutes, we transformed something from frozen to a fully cooked steak dinner. That's crazy. And here I'm gonna add a little bit of asparagus to each plate, and you're gonna have your tender steamed roasted asparagus, your perfectly cooked steak, and underneath of the steak, this is like possibly my favorite part, we are going to have a crispy, Mashed potato, cheesy mashed oh, potato. What do you think? <laughs> fork ready, fork ready. <laughs> fork do you want to just dig right in? No, before? no, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll at least be polite enough to wait till it hits the plate. Here we have those creamy, oh cheesy That's mashed insane. potatoes. That's insane. Okay. All so in about 30 minutes. You got ooey gooey, super sticky. How's cleanup? Because that's the next question you're that's all asking. That's the next question. So actually, <laughs> just even looking at these mashed potatoes, I can move them around the inside of the pot. This is a dishwasher safe, non-stick pot. So mm. when you're done cleaning up, you're just going to take everything out if you have any leftovers. You might not because it's all delicious. <laughs> <Not my house. laughs> and then you're just going to pop it right in the dishwasher. Mm. So one pot to clean dishwasher safe, and you don't even have to do any work here because you're just gonna pop it in and your meal's done, you've fed the family, and there you go. Oh, that's insane. That was so good, and it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just right. gonna actually cut, cut into this steak and show you how well it's cooked. That's beautiful. Whoops. And while you're doing that too, yep. I just wanna repeat what these all do, because I think there's all, it does so much, mm -hmm. and I think it's important to understand just how versatile it is, and then we'll go to the phones. In pressure, pressure cook, mm -hmm. steam, slow cook, sear, saute. Mm -hmm. In air, it air crisps, it's gonna bake, roast, broil, and dehydrate. Mm -hmm. We're the only unit that actually have added the dehydration. So if you ever wanted to do dehydrated fruits, mm -hmm. yep. or you're doing jerky, I hear the jerky is exceptional, yep. which I'm gonna try that too. It actually dehydrates, and again, that's so important to realize. There's another place that had this, it was $20 more, it sold out, didn't have the dehydration. We have the dehydrator included in this one. That's a big differentiation. And we have the best price anywhere in the whole wide <laughs> world. Uh, update for you, we're gonna hit 3,000 sold in just this first airing in just a minute. In the white or the turquoise, if those are your two choices, I'm sorry, the aqua, we're less than 300. We're at about 290 in the aqua. In the white, we started with 400. I have just a little over 300 left in the white. So the chances of those selling out are, we, well, I think the whole thing is gonna sell out, but <laughs> those two, if you want either one of those colors, I wouldn't go to sleep tonight without it. Let's go to the phones. Hi, you're on the air. Welcome to HSN. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Felicia, um, Ohio. Well, hello, another Buckeye. Yay, I love a Buckeye. Hi, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Miss Felicia, meet Kenzie. Hi, Kenzie. Hi, thank you for calling. You're welcome. So what do you think? Oh, this is fantastic. I've been <laughs> waiting and waiting and waiting for this. Why have you been waiting for it? Because I can get rid of my, put my um, pressure cooker away mm -hmm. and my air fryer away <laughs> in one pot. Isn't that awesome? And do you know it also does so many other things, like rice. Do you like rice? rice, yep. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Are you familiar yeah, with the ninja well, name? 
Yes, I am. I have several Ninja products. Oh, very good. Thank so you know you. the quality. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, you're going to go nuts with this, Felicia. Have fun. Well, thank you. You too. Have a great evening. Okay, you too, both of you. Thanks, Felicia. Bye-bye. Bye. By the way, the jerky is fabulous. I just <laughs> ate a bite while we were talking to Felicia. All right, what do you want to do next? Yeah, so I'd love to talk you through the dehydrate feature. This is, like you said, what we are showcasing today, which hasn't been available, and people are excited about dehydrating. Mm -hmm. I am so impressed with how savvy everybody is and what they're planning to dehydrate. So I actually asked, what do people want to see when I come on air today? And they said, I want to see what that dehydrator does. So here we've got an array of all the different things that the dehydrator does. You can That's dehydrate. Perfect jerky which you're eating it's and loving so delicious <laughs> and it's not super dry and doesn't taste like leather because mm -hmm. I, I know some jerky and this is really good jerky then we've also got some dehydrated citrus that's going to be great for garnish as well we've got dehydrated apples what a great treat to give the kids for a snack at school dehydrated tomatoes dehydrated strawberries the options are really endless and throughout the cookbooks both the cookbook that Lawyers? gets packed into the unit <laughs> as well as the my cookbook we've included um, a ton of charts in the back. Everything to help you get started, including a dehydrate chart and an air crisp chart. So everything's going to be right in there. So no matter what you want to try dehydrating, take a peek in the back of the book and it's going to teach you how to do that. Yeah. And I want you to think, do you have a steamer? Do you have a fryer? Mm -hmm. Do you have an air fryer? Do you, or a traditional fryer? Do you have an air fryer? Do you have mm -hmm. a pressure cooker? Do you not have any of those? I went online just because I'm a geek and I love it. <laughs> and I went online and I said, all right, let me just look up a pressure cooker from HSN. And we have a lot of great names, but just a pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. And when I looked it up, I found a price on our pressure cooker. One of them is $140. Okay, so there we are. Then I looked up an air fryer. We have an air fryer that's a customer pick mm -hmm. online right now that's almost... I had to double check, $300. Wow. So just for those two appliances, how much room do they take? How cumbersome is it pulling them out, putting them away? Do you use them very often? I think when you combine it all into one great appliance, that's when you get the biggest bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. You know, because you're using it every day. Maybe it's reheating pizza, great. Maybe it's you're cooking something like a mac and cheese, great. Maybe you're trying to eat less fried food, but you miss that taste of fried. Mm -hmm. It's gonna do that for you in the air frying system. There's no not another appliance out there that does what this Ninja does. And that's why they can't keep them in the stores. They can't keep them online. They can't keep them on television either. And we were <laughs> thrilled. We actually heard people were kind of crabbing that we got this today's special because we have such an awesome, awesome value tonight. And this is the only place you're going to find this value. Mm -hmm. You've got to compare apples to apples. This unit for HSN and for you does more than any of the other Ninja units that are out there. Mm -hmm. I think that's crucial to understand of why you want it tonight and we're doing it at the best price anywhere so we have the best deal going with all the uh, racks that you get with it everything included including the cookbook to get you started and yeah. i would highly recommend grabbing kenzie's book because it's awesome <laughs> thank Kenzie, you we want to just show the chickens real quick how oh, you definitely. started and then we're going to open up some more things so Great. explain what we see on the right to the left yeah so here you're seeing a pressure cooked chicken on your left and that's what you get when you use a pressure cooker or when you pressure cook in our unit that's great for things like soups and stews but probably not what you're going to present to the family when you're serving dinner the tender crisp chicken is on the right and that is going to be golden brown and delicious that skin is nice and crispy and the inside is going to be nice and tender that's the perfect like rotisserie style chicken for the weeknight meals you're going to love it oh francine says ah now it has the dehydration in this one yay francine <laughs> and she says i'm gonna get another one because it has the dehydrator which the other ones haven't had all right well oh here we go so we had to come back to this pasta that we <laughs> built a few minutes ago i kind of forgot we built it but i I want to show you exactly what this means when you use the crisping lid with your one pot wonders you're going to get that super oh cheesy gosh. ooey gooey topping that really is the hero of any casserole mm. look at that nice and steamy ooey gooey and crispy and because we added that pepperoni right on top those pepperonis are going to be super <gasps> Wait, look, super crispy. They're crispy see that pepperoni <laughs> right there it's got that yummy crisp now explain how you started this yes so we started it sure, from a dry it. box of pasta <laughs> yeah <laughs> Thank you. Juggling right now. So we're, uh, we started with a dry box of pasta. No boiling needed. Just popped it right into the pot along with our pasta sauce. And we cooked that pasta right in the sauce 
again, from just a raw box of pasta mm. under pressure. Okay. Then, after about two minutes, we switched. So, wait, raw pasta mm -hmm. done in two minutes. That's the beauty of pressure cooking. Mm -hmm. okay. Two minutes after you build that pressure, and we switched the lid. And this is the part that you saw. You saw me add the extra cheese on top, and then I switched the lid and I crisp for about five minutes, I think, total. It's crazy. And look what you get. You get that crispy topping and that pasta so underneath. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah, we want to have another reveal, too. But, yeah, let's talk about how you do yeah, the Yeah, so I lids. really want to just show you how simple this is. I cooked the pasta under pressure, and that's simply using our pressure lid. You're gonna choose uh, whether you want to vent or seal right here using this knob. When you're pressure cooking, you always want to be in the sealed position, and you switch that to vent for um, releasing the steam. Then, once you're done, you're gonna take that lid off, and you're going to add your cheese or maybe just oil up your chicken, and then you're going to pop your crisping lid right down, and that's going to allow you to crisp. So super simple, just swap that top, and it unlocks so many possibilities. Look, I grabbed a pepperoni, I gotta eat this one, sorry. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, you guys, you know what? Here's the thing, well here's the thing. There it is. Sorry, it's I'm finishing the pepperoni <laughs> before I was gonna talk. So there but, is, but, here's, but here's the thing, no, this is what's really crucial about this is, this is gonna take up so much little space compared mm -hmm. to all the other appliances you have. Give them away, donate them, get, pass them off to your kids, whatever. This is the one you need. And if you don't have a lot of appliances, honestly, I wouldn't buy anything but this. Mm -hmm. I really would. And I've done a ton of pressure cookers. I've been doing a lot of air fryers over the years. Guys, I've never, ever had an experience like this one. And you know what I did? I just decided I was gonna do guilt-free fried chicken. And I gotta tell you, the interior was so juicy and so delicious. Mm -hmm. And the exterior tasted just like fried chicken. It was so authentic. And that was just on the air frying mode. And you know what? I've used an air fryer almost every mm -hmm. day of my life. I have it sitting on my counter. I have another brand. And I thought, what are they gonna do with air frying that's gonna make it that different? <laughs> no, seriously, because I'm a consumer. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm as guilty of, question. I question everything, right? And I thought it couldn't taste better. They're just air fryers. Even the air frying difference mm -hmm. was dramatic compared to the one I had sitting right beside right it on my to. counter. You know what else is amazing about this air fryer is this crisping lid. So now you actually are able to clean your air fryer. That's something that you can't do with traditional air fryers Ooh. unless you tip them upside down and you get all in there. I dare you to go look at your air fryer at home. I promise it's not pretty yep. but here we're actually showing you exactly what's happening and this again is a non-stick underneath of that lid where the fan is and you're going to be able to actually go ahead and wipe that down in between uses that's great now what actually unlocks all of that air fry performance is the air fry cook and crisp basket and that's what i'm using right now to do uh two pounds of crispy chicken wings so i did this from frozen too super crispy using my tender crisp feature. I lost a little chicken wing there. And look how crispy golden Dang. brown those are. That looks delicious. Now, was this just on air fry? That was just on air fry. Okay, gosh, look at I'm that. I'm sorry, no, from frozen, I did that pressure first and then crisp. But if you were just doing chicken wings, you'd do them on air fry only. Okay, so how, how long did it take from frozen? Uh, just under 30 minutes. Come on, get mm -hmm. out of here. And then do you finish it off with the air fryer. And then we finished it off with the air fryer. Look at that, you Look guys. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. And again, that's gonna, hey, here's what's really cool. Because of the pressure, you're getting a, a more, um, a, a, a much better taste, a much better flavor. Mm -hmm. It's more moist, uh, but you don't miss any of the fried because that air crisping gives you that fried effect with zero of the guilt. Yeah, that, that's an amazing meal to serve. And by the way, if you love those chicken wings, it's from Coach Joe. Coach Joe. There's five pounds, they're called jumbo wings. Ah. We've got them available and they're even on auto ship. Uh, trust me, I would love to eat that right now because they look so good. But hey, if you love chicken wings, this along with Coach Joe's wings, you are are in. Now what'd you do here? So now I showed you a lot of different meats that you can cook, but I love air crisping veggies as well. And these are my air crisp Brussels sprouts. Oh they are gosh. going to be super, whoops, crispy and delicious. And they are flying everywhere because we did so many in this cook and crisp basket. Just look at that overflowing. <laughs> and that's again, that cook and crisp basket is unlocking that ability to crisp on the outside. And it's able to get Crazy. through all look of the that. nooks and crannies, no matter what, what you put in it. And yeah, what's we, this? What that's a little top? sriracha mayo just oh. to go on top yes please <laughs> <laughs> there you go let's see if i got it i got the old gourmet i'm doing this <laughs> year right beautiful all right so here's what i'm gonna do kenzie i'm gonna come back and join you again Great.
great. Guys, I'm going to go over here and I just want to give you some updates on what you get in our configuration. By the way, not only do you get the cheat sheet that's included, when you open the box, this is it and it gets you started right away. It only took me five minutes. I was in and cooking within five minutes of getting it. It was, it's just that easy. And understand, even when you go under pressure, that's easy to do. You never, you never lose, there you go, or misplace the other lid. You don't need more storage space because the lids aren't separate. It's attached to the air fryer and then you're going to put the pressure lid on when you need to use it. That's that flexibility and that versatility they build into this. So here's the black, obviously huge favorite, great gift giving. If you've got anybody getting married and you want to start off that marriage right, if they want to cook great in the kitchen with delicious food with very little effort and really short on time, get them the black because that's going to match every kitchen. The white I think is gorgeous. I want you guys to see, and I complimented the gang from Ninja. This is the venting system on top. It's beautiful. Like, it's beautiful. It was amazing. Yeah, there's no stone left unturned on how well this is made. Look at how, that's the vent. Now, they could have just made something kind of ugly and grill-like and whatever, but they even thought about making this just a beautiful experience because you know what? You don't put this one away. This is the one you show off and you leave out on your counter. So everything is gorgeous. You know what I love, too? Kenzie, wherever you went, we didn't talk about. Wait, the double handles. I, there's two handles on both sides, so when you pick it up, you're not trying to grab it like this and kind of wrestle it. There's handles on each side. Do you see that right there and right there that make it really easy? Because you'll feel this is built durable and it's built beautifully. I was calling it in my head kind of the Rolls Royce of pressure cooker air fryers um, because it's just so gorgeous. And I love those handles. We didn't talk about that. It's a great feature. All right, very limited. The turquoise, the turquoise. This one is uh, really, it's called aqua. Sorry, I keep calling it turquoise. It's aqua I have 190 left now if you want the aqua let's have a little moment here little Suzanne Runyon hi you're watching HSN moment get the aqua tonight <laughs> don't you dare wait on the aqua because that's not going to be around very long the one I got to try was the cinnamon I think it's beautiful it looks great in any kitchen now you're going to get instructions you get the quick start guide that's all I all I use with the quick start guide to make my fried chicken the night that's all I use um, you get that's the crisper you get double racks that actually are reversible and that really helps you do layers of food so it's that one pot wonder everybody's talking about you get this this is great this is the uh, a pot that you put in and then you're going to put all your racks and everything inside that this is the recipe book that comes with it there are 45 awesome recipes i love this book it really uh, shows you how to do either or and both together and i would recommend even though i don't have it in my hand right now kenzie's book really just takes you to that next level all of it available lowest price anywhere and this unit specifically for those of you shopping with us does more than any other ninja that's out there this is now also a dehydration system so if you want to make the jerkies if you've always well, I've always wanted to dehydrate things but I wasn't going to buy a big huge unit just to do that it's also a rice cooker it's going to cook your beans under pressure in minutes it's going to make making that homemade food fast but even better than ever before super fast so that's what you just saw in that animation is the pressure going into your food that's going to keep it nice and moist and it's going to cook faster than the traditional way you cook when I cook a chicken now I can do it in under 30 minutes in your oven that takes a lot longer now you see that crisping lid going to work it's pumping that air around your food every nook and cranny is going to get super crispy and crunchy and delicious and I actually love to walk you through exactly how we do that chicken because it's probably the best example of tender crisp technology that's our way of saying pressure and crisp tender crisp technology uh, that we have so here you have that crisping lid and you were just saying Suzanne Ninja thinks of everything. We don't leave any stone unturned. We even think through how you're going to actually clean every piece of your appliance. Oh, so that smart. little piece on the bottom of your cook and crisp basket is going to come apart for easy cleaning. And this whole thing is going to be dishwasher safe as well. So all of those appliances, all of the racks, they're all dishwasher safe along with that cooking pot. Including the cooking Including pot. Including so right that cooking inside. pot. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is take a five pound chicken and place it right into that cook and crisp basket. I trust the chicken first. That's just a fancy word for tying it up. Before I put it into the pot, I'm going to go ahead and add my liquid, about a half a cup to a cup. This is chicken broth. You can use uh, water or wine. I say use broth or wine because it's going to add much more flavor to whatever you're cooking. Now we're going to add the aromatics. Aromatics, again, fancy word. All it means are herbs and spices. So we're adding some lemons, some garlic, some uh, rosemary, and some peppercorns right in there. And then we're going to go ahead and put that 
cooking crisp basket with our chicken right on top and nestle it right in. Now that we have our cooking crisp basket inside, you're gonna go ahead and add that pressure cooking lid. So that's one of the two lids that come with your unit. And you don't remove the other lid. That to me was so smart too. <laughs> it's like I don't have to figure out what to do with the other lid. Exactly, that other lid stays attached and we did that for your convenience. So it's always there to just pop down and crisp. Okay. That pressure cooking lid is gonna be uh, something you take away to clean. You're not gonna wanna put this in the dishwasher though, just use a, a wet cloth to clean that. Okay. Now we're going to add our pressure cooking lid. You're simply gonna assemble it and twist, and then right in front, you'll see I'm gonna go ahead and choose pressure, and I'm gonna do that for on high for 20 minutes. So this is a little longer than some of the other recipes we showed you. We're gonna do 20 minutes under pressure. As soon as I click start, that snake starts appearing. That's telling you that it's building pressure. You'll also see the blue light illuminated. That means that your pressure cooker lid is on. We're trying to teach you every step of the way exactly what's happening. And tell them, it's so smart, it knows which lid <laughs> knows. you have on. It knows exactly what <laughs> lid you have on. So when you install the pressure cooking lid, that top row is going to illuminate for pressure cooking, slow cooking, steaming. Like, isn't that kind of, you don't have to figure it out. The thing goes, oh, you put the pressure lid on. So just look at this row. Mm -hmm. Hello, don't look at the row below because it's not lit up. <laughs> it's automatic. I just think that is so Every smart. Every single piece we think through so that you don't have to worry about it. The, the product, the Ninja Foodie is going to do all the thinking for you so that you don't have to worry about it and you can go take care of other things. Right. Help the kids with homework. Help, uh, you know, clean the house or you, you probably are cleaning the house. Have the kids clean the house and you go have a glass of wine. But <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you what happens when you're done pressure cooking. So after the pressure's built, it automatically switched to the countdown and then it's done. You're gonna release pressure using this vent right on top and switch it to the vent position. And then you're gonna remove that pressure cooking lid. And here we have that steamy, tender chicken. You could stop here if you're just making a soup or a stew and break that down. What I wanna do is turn this into the perfect like rotisserie style chicken. So what we're gonna do is add a little bit of oil and you're just gonna brush that on top. My other secret here, when you're cooking a big roast or even if you just wanna make your life a little simpler, just use the spray oil. It's gonna be super simple and super quick. Nice idea. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. The higher you go, the more even it is. Get a little bit around the whole top of the chicken here. And then we're going to go ahead and lower that crisping lid. So super simple, swap that top. And we're now going to go ahead and choose our air crisp function. So we're gonna choose air crisp. And you notice it lit up, so it, it told lit it. lit up. And here you can change your temp and your time. We're actually gonna keep it at 390, but we're gonna go ahead and change our time down to just 15 minutes. That's great. And let me ask you, um, what are the temperature ranges? Yeah, so this is actually gonna go all the way down from about 100 degrees for your dehydrating all the way up to 450 degrees for uh, broiling. That's amazing. And again, remember, it's a broiler. It's also a se it sears. <laughs> the darn thing sears. So if you need to sear some meat to get mm -hmm. it started before you're actually gonna cook it, you imagine searing it, putting it under pressure, and having a big roast done in how many minutes? I mean... 30, 40 minutes tops. Crazy. And it'll be some of the most delicious food you've ever eaten in your entire life is under pressure. What I love too about being under pressure is from frozen, you can get the meal out to the family in literally minutes without having to go through the drive-through, order the pizza and have all the guilt associated with that. Mm -hmm. You can make some of the most delicious, what tastes like mom did it for hours on the stove <laughs> on a yes. Sunday meals and you're doing it just like that. And now that you can add the air frying element to it to give mm -hmm. it that caramelization or that crispness, that just, it sends you to the moon. I can't wait. I totally get why they cannot keep this in the stores. I get it. It's really a revolution in cooking. It's gonna change the way you cook. You're gonna be feel good about the food that you're feeding your family because you're gonna be able to put a full meal on the table in under an hour easy, under 30 minutes. Here, I, that's that final roast chicken that we saw so earlier. 15 minutes later. Exactly, <laughs> about 15 minutes later. Now just listen to this because I'm just gonna run my knife around the top. I want you to hear how crispy this is. You can literally hear it. That's that crispy skin. And I'm gonna go ahead and just dive right in and show you how moist it is. Because you're just going to be able, that you can hear that crispness as I cut into it. Every single piece is going to be nice and moist. It's gonna be tender crisp. And crispy can I on the something? outside, tender on the inside. Can I say something I did too? Yeah. On my piece of fried chicken that we keep showing, my non gut fried <laughs> chicken. Here's what I did, I put it on the rack. Cause you've ever done, if you ever done a baked chicken in the oven mm -hmm. and immediately what happens is the bottom side of the chicken is gunky and it's uh -huh. greasy and it's nasty and you don't eat the bottom side cause it's so gross. So I figured, wait a minute, air frying. I've never used a rack before because my air fryer doesn't 
have it. Mm -hmm. I put the rack in, I put my chicken on it, and guess what? The bottom Bottom doesn't was get soggy. So, it was so <laughs> delicious. And I did, I, I tapped, I'm such a nerd. I tapped on the top, and then I flipped it over, and I mm -hmm. said, logically, it should be crispy. And I did, and it was as crispy on the bottom as the top, and it tastes just like delicious fried chicken with zero of the guilt. Because you just use a little bit of oil mm -hmm. or a little bit of butter, whatever you want to do. But the rack really makes a difference, and you can really tell that vortex of air, how it's really circulating all around whatever all you're All around everything, and that's why it's redesigned an air fryer in this shape you can't find. That's because we're getting that 360 air everywhere. Whether you're using the rack or that basket, okay. you're gonna get crispy results. And again, that rack also flips, so it's got different orientations. You can use it in the taller rack position, which you just had, mm -hmm. or you slip it right upside down, and that's how you're gonna do things like steam. You could also fit a cake pan in there, oh. or a loaf pan to make your banana bread, and use this as your oven, especially in the summertime when you don't want to turn on your full-size oven. And stuff's not sitting in its own oils mm -hmm. and gunk, so it, it turns out great. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Okay. I'm excited because Shannon has her own show coming up today, <laughs> but this might not be in that show. Sorry, Shannon, because I know she's probably watching, but it's going to be a great show. She's one of my dear friends. I love her to death, and I'm so excited. So what's going to happen is later on today, we have a lot of exciting premieres, including Marlo actually will have one at 5 o'clock, and then Shannon's going to have a great cooking show. In fact, Marlo's is called Good Eating, and Shannon's is called uh, Your Kitchen. Um, your, your Kitchen with Shannon, and that's at 8 p.m. I know it all looks delicious. Let's take a peek at what's happening tonight. If you've watched me at all over the last 20 years, you probably expect the unexpected. What you might not know is I also love to cook. I'm going to take you on a little glimpse with tips and tools that you can use in your kitchen as well. Monday nights at 8. And it's going to be such a fun show, and I know she's so excited about it. Kenzie's with me from Ninja, a blogger, author, mm -hmm. a uh, fabulous cook, obviously. <laughs> and I do want to mention she did an accessory book to go back to this. You had a lot of fun with this. I did. It's the complete cookbook for beginners, because this is under a weird technology. You might not know about pressure cooking, and mm -hmm. it's one of the greatest ways to cook. You'll learn it. You might not know about air frying. It's also one of the greatest ways to cook. You'll learn it. But she teaches you how to combine them both mm -hmm. for the all ultimate in flavor, in taste, in great meals that are done so fast for you and your family. Now, let me do a little update on colors. If you want the aqua, I have 100 oh. left. Okay, the aqua's not gonna make it past the launch. So the aqua's almost gone. Then the next most limited is gonna be the white, okay? So aqua will sell out in the next 20 minutes, okay? I have 300 left of the white. Wow. That's it. Now, the two most popular colors are the cinnamon and the black, and that makes sense. But if you want that aqua or you want the white, I will guarantee you the aqua will not make it past this show. Just wanted to give you a little heads up because you'll be really upset. Yeah, you'll be really upset because you're like, oh, I wanted the aqua. And then it's like, oh, not here. <laughs> okay, let's keep cooking. What do you have here? Yeah, so next, in that beautiful cinnamon color that you had at home, we are making a chili casserole. So, like you said, this is going to replace your slow cooker or your pressure cooker. Whether you like to cook something slow over time and make your chili that way, great. If you like to pressure or cook your chili and use raw beans like we have in front here, you can do that as well. But some people go, wait a minute, you can pressure cook chili? Yeah. They think it's got to be on the stove for 100 no, hours. No, 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 because pressure, let me break this down for you, pressure is going to cook above the boiling temp of water. What that means is you're going to cook up to 70% faster than traditional cooking methods. Oh. So if you want to infuse flavors and tenderize really quickly, pressure is the mode of cooking for it you. Is. And pressure used to be really complicated and hard, not with Ninja. No. It's like worry-free pressure. <laughs> pressure cooking. You know, it's not like grandma's stove where that thing was just going like this and you wouldn't ever try it. No. This is easy. This so what, is, what do we have So what here? we've gone here, after I pressure cooked my chili, I went ahead and I added cornbread right on top along with some cheese. So this is a cornbread chili casserole with cheese and we put some scallions right on top and I'm just going to dig right in. Yum. Oh, that's ridiculous. There you go. Okay, whatever. Woo. And I see a, I see a big chocolate chip cookie and ice cream, and trust me, spoon worthy. <laughs> that looks yes. so good. Wait, can I get a little bite of it? Yes, this? please go for it. And it comes out piping hot. I'll Do tell you. Do you want me to get your own? So this is chili with what? With cornbread topping. Oh, get out of so here. So that was just a raw cornbread batter that we poured right on top of our chili, and then we crisped it using the crisping lid. And you're gonna follow regular cooking instructions for that. If you wanted mm. to, you like that? <laughs> I'll tell you what, a restaurant can't do that better. 
That is one of the most delicious chilies Thank I've you. ever had. You go to Thank a competition you. and win. Yes, yes. <laughs> Whether you're going to a smoking competition with those ribs from earlier or a chili yeah. competition, you are set. And again, that's one pot. We just use that cooking pot and it's dishwasher safe at So the end under of the day. pressure. Now think about this. You run home, you're mm -hmm. like, I don't know what I'm gonna cook. You throw in raw beans, mm -hmm. a couple ingredients, pressure cook, they're done in how many minutes? Uh, depends on what yeah, recipe you're following, you know. but less than 30. Less than 30. You threw a box of... Cornbread topping. Dry. Well, I mixed it into oh, a batter. Okay, then, then I poured that the right on top. It. Yep. A little cheese. little cheese. Shut it down. Shut it another 15 minutes, and so in 45 minutes... There you go. And all of these chili. recipes are going to be in your book, and we actually have a recipe for that cornbread Are they in topping. this book or in the book that comes with it? The ones I'm showing now are in the book that comes with it. We want to make sure you get everything you're seeing here today. And that's 45 recipes that come with mm -hmm. it, although we do have the expanded book here. Now, yes. this is interesting because most people don't understand this. It actually can bake. It can actually bake. So here what we did is we made the chocolate chip skillet cookie from the cookbook. <laughs> and I'm going to turn that right out for you. This is the cookbook you're getting. So you are actually able to bake in addition to making your meals. And in you addition just used to roasting. a basic old this is just a pie foil tin. pan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a pie we'll tin. We'll just dig right in. Oh, sure, yes. <laughs> now, if you were home alone, like me sometimes, you might just eat this all for yourself. But I'm going to serve it and be really fancy for you and give you a nice little slice. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. So, and again, it'll surprise you all the things. Wouldn't you say it would surprise everybody all the things you can bake in this? All of the things you can make. In my cookbook, actually, one of my favorite recipes and the recipes I bring into the team all the time are my um, uh, toaster uh, pastry Ooh, toaster pastries, tongue twister, strawberry toaster pastries. So these are like, you know, something you might have had when you were a kid growing up. Yes. They've got that jam, like uh, strawberry jam inside, flaky pastry outside, and a little icing on top. They're Done right on the here. back. Yeah, they're right on the back of that book. And that's in your book. That's in my book. So if you want the expanded big book, you can ask that. I'll give you the graphs right now for it so you can order it. Don't miss out. Oh, we've already sold 600 and oh, we're just literally you. can't get into it. But there's hundreds of pages of really great recipes mm -hmm. um, and all from Kenzie. Yeah. And it's $16.99 and she's signed all of them. I signed them I all. That was really nice. Mm -hmm. Your hand must be so tired. It is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go over this again because if you are channel sur surfing, this is the Ninja. They cannot keep this in stock in stores. We have the most versatile Ninja they've ever made at the lowest price anywhere. This one beats every other Ninja that's been available out there, and it beats it substantially. What does it do? Under pressure, it's pressure, it steams, it slow cooks, it sears, it sautés. With the air, it's an air crisp. It also does bake, it roasts, it broils, and here's the big difference, gang. You can truly dehydrate with our unit that is not available anywhere else you can dehydrate so this has more features in fact the mm -hmm. most features of any ninja at the lowest price anywhere in the country the aqua is almost gone the white is down to the last couple hundred there's 75 of the aqua left 75 for the whole day so this one is almost gone and this white i only have about 300 maybe now left in the white so these two are wildly limited we brought in more of the black and the cinnamon because we knew those are going to be the most popular colors. Those are the two most popular, but if you want these really cool, unique colors, you definitely want to do, especially for the aqua. Mm -hmm. This will not make another airing. And I think the white's great because it matches every kitchen in the world. But <laughs> what are we doing next? So now we're doing another 360 meal. So we've talked about all the things that this does individually. It's going to do your rice cooking. It's going to do your pressure cooking, your slow cooking, your air frying, your baking and roasting, your steaming, your dehydrating. I feel like I must be missing something, but I think I got it. Oh, pressure cooking. How could I? <laughs> forget. So what we did here is we took that first feature I talked about, rice cooking, and I went ahead and made rice from scratch. That was just rice, water, and I actually added frozen veggies because you can actually spice up your rice by adding some spices or just by adding frozen veggies straight from the freezer in with your rice, and that's going to make like and a veggie fried rice. And that was just raw rice. rice. Just raw Not rice. Not pre-cooked. You don't have to pre-cook it and nope. then stick it in there. And how long did that take under pressure? Uh, about three minutes. Okay, so, so fast. Two minutes. Two minutes under pressure. It's yes. so fast. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so here what we've got is that rice in there. And now what I'm going to do is add my fresh ingredients. So I'm going to go ahead and add my salmon. Oh, nice juice. 
And people get very intimidated. I don't know, do you cook fish at home frequently? My husband does. Okay, I feel like <laughs> one of the things that people always ask me is how do you cook fish? Because they're very intimidated by fish. Here you can use fresh salmon or you could actually use frozen salmon. The recipe for the frozen salmon is in the cookbook. And here what we're doing is adding that salmon on top. We're going to add a little bit of teriyaki. Oh so you could use any kind of uh, sauce or seasoning that you have at home that you want to use. You're just going to spread that right on top. And that's gonna help get that super crispy exterior that we love on our fish. And then inside it's gonna be nice and moist and flaky. Again, exactly what you want. Then I tossed my broccoli in a little bit of oil and I'm just gonna go ahead and place my broccoli right around my asparagus. So if you, you wanted to, you your sorry, my salmon. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you wanted to switch out the broccoli for the asparagus, uh, you can do that as well. But here we're just adding our broccoli right around our salmon. And, it, well, and I love this because Ninja really is going after the idea of one pot meals. Exactly. And on Pinterest, one pot cooking is again the rage. Exactly. So it, here you go. You got it. You can do the same thing with this as you would with um, a bunch of other machines. Exactly. And you need a lot of different machines to be able to pull that off. Exactly. And here again, you're going to get honey. all of your different. Hello. He's back. He's joining us. Are you hungry? Knock knock because I'm I've been watching you and you. I'm literally starving now. <laughs> starving. So I'm like, what can I come and taste? Because everything looks amazing. Uh, well, why don't I show you what the finished salmon looks like? Okay. Oh, you want to do that? Do you yes. like this? Or the, the cookie, the chocolate chip oh, cookie oh, ice cream. Okay, why okay, don't you start okay. there? work backwards. Hi guys, I'm Valerie. <laughs> I have the Perlier Beauty Hour next two hours. But uh, Look at that. Look oh. at that beast. This is a baked cookie, a deep baked cookie with ice cream. Oh my God. Like insane, right? Can like, I just go home now? Sure. <laughs> Perlier might miss you. Oh my God. <laughs> you like it. This is amazing. Isn't Thank it you. Nuts? Wait, you baked that in the same thing that you would make your salmon in? Yep. And look at this, guys. Look at the salmon. And look how good that salmon is. And, and wait, can I ask you a question? Because yeah. you're air frying the second part of it. Mm -hmm. How does it not overcook the rice down below? So that rice is perfectly formulated in this recipe so that you've got a little extra water in there so it's not going to dry out. If you're um, worried about adding your teriyaki sauce to your rice and you maybe have picky kids who don't want that, just add a piece of tin foil. But here I love that all those flavors come together. It drips they all down to the rice. Together. Yeah. And what you'll see here, if you look, is you've got that crispy, like almost wood roasted broccoli texture. And then you've got that crispy salmon. Um, underneath that's going to be super flaky and delicious. And then what I'm going to do is just pull out this rack so you can Thanks see for the rice. Out, darling. My, my job is done here, everybody. You're going to love so it. Happy. Thank you. Her right. is coming up next. We'll All see right. you then. All right. Thank Bye. you, guys. Now I'm going to eat the salmon. <laughs> The salmon looks there so you good. Go. Oh my god! So then we've got our rice right underneath. And I just love how it wow. almost is like a fried rice texture. You know, I just, it's super fluffy, but then you're also going to get that little bit of teriyaki crispness on top. All right, we're going to go to the phones. Hi, you're on the air at HSN. What's your name and where are you from? Hi, I'm Lisa from Maine. Well, hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. So what do you think? How are we doing tonight? Oh, great. I can't wait to get this. Uh, it looks really good. Um, uh, I've ordered things from HSN for many years. It's my first time on the air with you guys. Well, uh, thank you. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting it. Mm -hmm. Now, have you heard of the Ninja before? I have, yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah. I actually um, was... Uh, looking at them around Christmas time and mm -hmm. they were much more expensive online. So I didn't get one <laughs> that I saw it on tonight. And I said, oh, I gotta get that. Aren't you happy you waited? Good You're like, price. yes. <laughs> and don't forget, yeah, we do more than any of the other ninjas that are out there. Ours is the most versatile tonight. Yeah, I noticed you had mentioned that too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah and uh, I have an old fashioned uh, pressure cooker. The kind that jiggle and, and blows up? <laughs> Yeah, it's not user friendly at all, and you know it doesn't crisp everything up either. And uh, and somebody was saying earlier too about oh they wanted to I think it was you Susan uh, mm -hmm. that said you wanted a dehydrator but you didn't want a big separate piece like yep. I live in a small ranch and I only have so much storage space so. Mm -hmm. That's really neat. I didn't even know it, that it did that. Right, because so, dehydrators yeah. typically have racks and racks and racks and rows of stuff, and they're just bulky, and they cost more money. <laughs> I mean, it's so now right. you get it all in yeah. one. Well, we hope you enjoy yeah. it, Lisa. Yeah, well, thank you. I'm, I'm sure I will. Um, I, I've caught, like I said, so many things for you guys over the years. and oh, I love it. Um, yeah. 
Well, thanks for being a part of our family. We really appreciate you being there. Um, you. Also, just a little heads up again. This is the Aqua. I just want to give you updates, especially if you're channel surfing and you're saying, what's going on? We've got the Ninja. It's the most versatile they do at the best price anywhere. Nobody has this except us. The Aqua is the most limited now, followed by the white, the most popular, the black, mm -hmm. and the cinnamon. If you want the Aqua, that will sell out before our show's done. It's not going to make the next airing. Then the white's going to go after that. There's only a couple hundred left in the white. And it's great for, I love a wedding gift. Mm -hmm. If you don't know their kitchen color, the white or the black is so easy. Because I just think this is a wonderful way to start a new couple off in yeah. their marriage. Yeah. Wouldn't it be great? I mean, that's a really thoughtful gift to be able to do that. All right, so I'm eating this. You're just going. I'm having at it. And it is absolutely, It's you know, it is beyond restaurant quality. And, yeah. and, and that's interesting. I would say restaurant quality. But gang, it tastes so much better. And that when you start using pressure cooking, mm -hmm. you really do get a whole different level of taste. You do. You're going to infuse from step one all the way through when you finish. If you're used to pressure cooking, you probably use your stove top before you use your pressure cooker, or maybe you have a built-in uh, stove top feature, but we're actually doing a range of stove top functions. So we're going all the way from low, all the way to high, five different temperature ranges, wow. just like your stove top, so that if you're searing your meat first before you pressure cook, you're keeping all of that flavor in your pot. You're not losing it, transferring it from one pot to the next. Then when you switch from your pressure cooking lid to your crisping lid, again, one pot, so all of your flavor is staying in there, and it's in your final dish. And that's exactly what I did in this next recipe that okay. I want to show you. So I actually made short ribs with roasted veggies. If uh, you're like eating out, you've probably seen short ribs across all of the menus. All of the restaurants these days have short ribs on them. And that's exactly what this is, is a short rib and roasted veggies. So you see all those different veggies oh on top. Gosh. I'm just going to go ahead and slide those and right And so you on. just use the adjustable rack. So I just used the adjustable rack. Okay. And that's going to crisp on the top. Mm. Look at that. And again, that adjustable rack is going to be dishwash safe, just like all of the other appliances. I mean, all of the other accessories. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and add our short ribs right on top. <laughs> and I went and did a sear saute first. So I seared these on super high heat before I pressure cooked Inside them. Inside here. Inside the pot. So that all of that flavor is oh built right gosh. in. You can see these literally falling off the bone. Well, Look you, at that. That's a bone. That. There's no <laughs> meat on that bone. No meat. The bone <laughs> is separate but we're gonna put all of this short ribs right out on there and look how much it fits so we actually are wider than traditional this is a six and a half quart pressure cooker and we're actually wider than a traditional six quart pressure cooker because I want to make sure that you are able to sear all of your meat okay. Do you know what happens when you sear meat in a crowded pan nothing actually sears it all just steams you don't get that caramelization so when we were building the foodie at ninja headquarters we said how do we make this the best possible product every step of the way so we widened that diameter we gave it a super hot scream and sear we bring a ton of chefs in in addition to the team that i lead at ninja and we make sure that they are able to cook some delicious meals using the ninja foodie and that's exactly what they did right. using this feature well and it's really the best of everything i mean why do we love pressure cooking because we're a very fast-paced society we're busy people but we feel as a mom wildly guilty about going through drive through wildly guilty about ordering the pizza because we know it's not good for anybody I mean it tastes good sometimes but it's really not good for us with pressure cooking you're going to get what tastes like you know mom used to make or your grandma remember when grandma would cook all day on Sunday and you guys just couldn't wait the smells were so good that's what you get with pressure cooking but it's the modern version of it why do we like air frying I air fry almost every single day and why do I air fry because I love the taste of fried foods but I I hate the guilt behind it because mm -hmm. I'm always trying to lose weight and eat healthier. <laughs> so now you have the best of both those worlds. You can use them separately, so it could be a pressure cooker or air fryer. Or what's really the next level is what you guys have developed. This idea of pressuring and then finishing it off, caramelizing, getting that crisp yummy at the top of the meal, at the end of the meal mm -hmm. with the air fryer. So it's now combined together. But you have to remember, it sears, it does rice, it steams, it roasts. It dehydrates. It pressure cooks. It pressure cooks. It slow it, cooks. It slow and cooks. And it does your oven tasks as well. You bakes and roasts. That's so right, bakes and roasts. So you can bake in it too. I mean, crazy, right? All right, just a quick update. The aqua is now completely sold out. Wow. See what people do? I love when they watch. <laughs> they watch and they go, oh, she's lying. That's not going to sell out. It's gone. It's gone. So what do we have left? In the white, how many do I have left, Stevie, in the white? Oh, geez, oh, Pete. There's only 150 left in the white. Wow. So that's going to go really quickly, too. Now, what will, will remain here in a few minutes will be the cinnamon and the black. But I have to tell you, at this rate, wait, Steve, I know we started out with 9,000 going into this. We've now sold over 4,000. Wow. <laughs> 
right? For, what are we at? 4,000 what? I saw it up there. 4,200. Wow. So we'll do about four or 5,000 before, we might hit 5,000 by the end of this hour, or at least in maybe the next hour during Prolier, mm -hmm. which means there'll be 4,000 left for the rest of the day. And we just sold over 4,000 in one airing. <laughs> okay. Wow. Last look real quick in 30 seconds. What yes. Do do? So grilled cheese, obviously. It's about oh, whatever hello. time it is right now. So we don't care. It's about it time. It can be <laughs> any time for grilled cheese. It's, we don't need a special time. Oops. Ooh, it's hot. It's <laughs> hot. It's hot. But check this out. I'm going <gasps> to dive right in, and it is going to be ooey, gooey, and cheesy all the way through. Oh, my and Just gosh. look at that cheese. And oh, what did you use Ooh. to get it brown and crispy. So I use the air fry feature right there to get it nice and crispy on every side, top and bottom. And just a little dollop of what? Just a little, oh, just a little bit of butter. A little bit, that's <laughs> it. But, but you're not sticking it in the pan and like doing all the butter and all the calories. Thank you for a great Thank lunch. Thank you so, so nice much. Meeting you. Stay right there. Please don't forget about Kenzie's book. You can get that as well. And thanks for hanging out with us. Everyone, I'm so excited for our jewelry clearance hour. I hope you are too, because that means you're going to get some great deals and steals. And the first hour, we're gonna kick it off with, uh, what 